Hi everyone, welcome to today's GCSE Higher Revision video. There's 48 days of going to your GCSE Maths exam and today we're going to focus on the topic of product growth for accounting. Now I really like this topic and I'm going to go through in this video how to do product growth for accounting questions and there'll be some for you to try as well. So remember to press pause and to try those questions. If you've got the Coke Maths Revision cards, the higher cards, card number 19 is on the product growth for accounting. So that'll be a really useful one for you as well. So in this video, we're going to go through the product order for accounting, so let's get started. Hi, today we're going to look at the product order for accounting. And in this video, I really like this topic, product order for accounting, because it's really great in terms of finding a number of possible outcomes there can be. And in terms of the product order for accounting, I've got four examples here, four questions that we're going to try. Feel free to press pause and try these questions if you want to, and then see if you get them right, and I'll go through them afterwards. Um, alternatively, you can just watch me go through them. So feel free to press pause now to try this question if you want to. Okay, so let's have a look at our first question. So our first question says, a coach is designing a new football strip. So a new football strip's been designed, and the coach, she's got a choice of three different pairs of socks, two different pairs of shorts, and she's got a choice of six different shirts. So you can choose between three different pairs of socks, two different pairs of shorts, and six different shirts. And we're asked how many different possible strips are there? So to find how many different strips are possible, we just need to take the number of possible options for the socks, the number of possible options for the shorts, and the number of possible options for the shirts, and find the product of those, or so multiply them together. So if we do 3, multiply by 2, multiply by 6, that'll give us the number of different possible strips possible. That's equal to 6, times 6 is equal to 36. So that means there's 36 different possible strips, and that's it. And that's it, so there's 36 different possible strips, and that's just a much easier way of doing this question rather than having to list them all out, because that would take quite a long time listing down 36 different possible strips. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. Okay, so our next question says, Jacob picks a five digit odd number. The first digit is a prime number, the third digit is less than four, and the fourth digit is eight. How many different five digit numbers could he pick? Okay, so there's five different digits. So there's the first digit, there's the second digit, there's the third digit, there's the fourth digit, and there's the fifth digit, because it's a five digit odd number. And let's write down how many possible choices he has for each digit. So in terms of the first digit, we're told it's a prime number. So the prime numbers are two, three, five, seven. So Jacob's possible choices for the first digit would be either a two, a three, a five, or a seven. So he's got four different choices. So in terms of the first digit, there's four choices. Okay, now in terms of the second digit, we're not told anything about the second digit. Uh, it doesn't say the NIA information about the second digit, so that means it could be a 0, a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, a 6, a 7, an 8, a 9. So there's 10 different choices there for the second digit. In terms of the third digit, we're told it's less than 4, so that means it could be 0, 1, 2, or 3, because obviously all those digits would be less than 4. So obviously it can't be equal to 4 because there's less than 4. So that means that Jacob's got a choice of 4 digits for the third digit. In terms of the fourth digit, we're told that's eight. So that means that the number has to be eight. So he's only got one choice for the fourth digit. It has to be eight. Okay, and finally, in terms of the last digit, we were told the digit is an odd number. That means it ends in a one, a three, a five, a seven, or a nine. So that means that Jacob's got five possible choices for the last digit. So that means he's got four choices for the first digit, 10 choices for the second digit, four possible choices for the third digit, one choice for the fourth digit, and five possible choices for the last digit. So the question is how many different five digit numbers could he choose? Well, we're just gonna do four, multiply by 10, multiply by four, multiply by one, multiply by five, and that'll give us our answer. And that's equal to 800. So that means that Jacob's got a choice of 800 possible numbers. He can make 800 different numbers using these um, rules, and that's it. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. Okay, the next question says, Katie has 13 different playing cards. So she's got 13 different playing cards. Perhaps they're going from ace up to king. So she's got 13 different playing cards. And she's going to give one card to Grace. And then she's going to give one card to Bill. And then finally, one card to Jenny. And how many different ways can Katie do this? So feel free to press pause now and to work out how many different ways Katie could give one of her 13 cards to Grace. And then one of the remaining cards to Bill. And then one of the remaining cards to Jenny. And I've probably given you a bit of a hint, by the way, I've worded that. Okay, so feel free to press pause now and to work that out. Okay, so in terms of the card that Katie gives to Grace, she's got 13 different playing cards. That means that she could give her any one of 13 different cards. Okay, now in terms of Bill, well, Katie's given one of the cards to Grace. That means she's now only got 12 cards left. So there's 12 different possible cards that she could give to Bill. And then finally, in terms of Jenny, well, Katie's given one card to Grace and one card to Bill. So that means now she's got 11 cards left. So that means there's 11 possible cards she could give to Jenny. So in terms of how many possible ways Katie could give one card to Grace, one card to Bill, and one card to Jenny, we would just need to do 13, multiply by 12, multiply by 11. And that'll give us the number of possible different ways that Katie can give one card to each of these three people. So 13 multiplied by 12 multiplied by 11 would be equal to 1,716. And that's it. 
And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at our last question. Okay, let's have a look at our last question. Our last question says, Jackson makes four digit numbers using these cards. So he's got the digits two, three, five, and eight. And whereas how many different numbers can he make that are greater than 3,000? Or how many different numbers greater than 3,000 can he make? Okay, so feel free to press pause now to try this question. Okay, so in terms of this question, there's a couple of different ways you could approach it. Now, the approach that I would tend to use for a question like this is, I would actually start off by considering the first digit, because it has to be greater than 3,000. So I know the first digit can't be a 2, but it can be a 3, a 5, or an 8. So what I would do is I would consider the numbers in the 3,000s, then I would consider the numbers in the 5,000s, and then I would consider the numbers in the 8,000s. And I'd see how many of these there would be, I'd see how many of these there could be, and I'd see how many of these there could be, and then I'd add them together to see how many possible numbers greater than 3,000 you can make. So that's one possible approach and then there's another approach which I'll talk about in a second. Okay so let's start off with the numbers in the 3000s so where we know the 3 has to be in the front so the 3 has to be in the front here and then in terms of the remaining 3 digits the 2, the 5 and the 8 they can go in any order you know for instance we could have 3258 we could have 3285 we could have 3582 we could have 3528 we could have 3852 or finally we could have 3825 now you could list them in that way if you wanted to and see the six possible options there so that's one way you could have done it but the approach I would have used is I would have said well the three's in the front so the three the other digits at the front so that means you've got three possible digits left so that means that if you they can go in any order so you could have three choices for the first of those digits two choices for the second of those digits and only one choice for the last of those digits and if you do three times two times one that's equal to six so that means there's six possible options in the three thousands and as you've seen by listing to them there's six possible options again if the there's a five in the front you've then got with the remaining three digits you could have any of those in the second place so three multiplied by and then if one's in the second place then there'd only be two choices for the second place and then if the one goes in that place there'd only be one choice for the last one so three times two times one is equal to six so there'd be six choices there as well and then finally if there's an eight in the front so if it's a number in the eight thousands again you could list them or you could say well if the eight's in the front you've got three possible cards left any of those three could go in the second place and then any of the other two could go in the second place and then and then it would only be one choice for the last place and three times two times one is equal to six so that means we've got six possible numbers in the three thousands six possible numbers in the five thousands and six possible numbers in the eight thousands so altogether there'd be 18 possible choices or 18 possible numbers that are greater than three thousand that he can make using these cards so that's it so that's one possible way we could have done that question now there is another possible way and that's just to use the product rule for counting to begin with so in terms of the first digit the second digit the third digit and the fourth digit. In terms of the first digit, well, it has to be greater than 3,000, so that means that it has to be either a 3, a 5, or an 8 in the first digit column, so we've got a choice of 3 there. In terms of the second digit, well, we're going to have used one of these digits here, but we can now use the 2, so that means there's three possible choices for the second one once we've put one in the first digit uh, column, so that means there's three possible choices there. Once we've then used that digit, then there's two choices for there and one choice for there. So we would do 3 times 3 times 2 times 1, and that would be equal to 18 as well. So that means there's 18 possible numbers greater than 3,000, and if you got that, well done. And that's it. So I really hope you found this video on product rule for accounting useful. I've gone through some examples and some for you to try as well. So I really hope you found it useful and that you are now confident with product rule for accounting. And it's one of those ones where the situation of the context, it, you know, it's, I can't predict and, you know, this is exactly the way they're going to word the question. So I'd highly recommend the practice questions today just to get used to a range of different questions on product rule for accounting. Also, make sure that you're doing your uh, five a days because on the higher and higher plus five a days, there might be lots of product rule for questions on there. So between now and the exam in 48 days time, you'll encounter product rule for accounting on those five a days. So that'll be useful to give you opportunities to practice it and to come back to it as well. So keep up the hard work. You're doing really, really well. At three o'clock tomorrow, there'll be the next video on YouTube. So I'll see you then. Cheers. Bye.